Hello, it is Sunday the 12th of December. I'm filming this on my phone because my camera battery died. I've been filming stuff for Patreon this morning and there's a Christmas fair in town. I've got to venture out to get some bits. So I thought I would vroom, vroom, vroom. Lots of cars today. It's very, very busy here today. So I am going to take you along for that. It's part three of Vlogmas. I've been a bit slack. Oh, apologies. Um, it's about to get a lot more Christmassy, I promise. I just popped into town after um, having a look at the Old Town Christmas, which was busy, but there wasn't as many sort of stalls and things happening. I was hoping for some Christmas carols or something. But anyway, I'll show you the little bit of that. And I popped into a charity shop and I had a little bit of a lucky score because I found some really nice things. So I thought I'd just show you. On my wish list of things to find or buy or you know whatever is um a cashmere roll neck jumper and i wanted one in cream and one in black and i found a cream one and obviously somebody had bought it it's apparently a size 20 they've bought it and they've shrunk it but i i want it um nice and fitted and it was four pounds pure cashmere really lovely there's a little bit of pilling on it but yeah got that and i can smell that it's it's clean and then i also found and maybe these were from the same person i don't know i found this beaded and lined cardigan it's got all the beading on here it's got a brown sort of edging which is not really a color i like but how amazing and i think that was that was four pounds as well and it's lined in what feels like silk it's in good condition there's a little bit of staining um there's no label in it so i don't know i don't know if it's old old or it's remade um but that is like a really good quality if it's not cashmere it doesn't feel quite soft enough to be cashmere but um yeah, really pleased with that. I haven't tried it on. It may not even fit me. And then I found this really pretty cushion cushion cover, which had a cushion pad in it, but I didn't want the cushion pad. Um, with all this lovely, uh, this technique is called faggoting, which is um, an unpleasant name, but that is what this is. And it's really beautiful cotton. And then I found, I've got to unwrap them. He wrapped them up for me. These really beautiful crystal, little crystal, I suppose they're tea light holders or candlestick or something. I'm going to use them on my Christmas table. And they were a pound each and I got, I got a set of four. So that felt like Christmas has arrived to me and they like, they stack like that. So I just wanted to share that. I was really pleased. Good morning from me and all the resident goals in the old town of Hastings. It's Monday the 13th and I have been very busy this morning editing the very first Tea with Tara, which is a monthly talk on the 13th that is exclusive for my patrons over on patreon my lovely patrons and i feel a bit nervous about it because it's the first time that i've sort of done a a more kind of theoretical fashion history sort of contextual talk and i really really enjoyed doing it i've still got to upload that but before i do that i am off to take part in a knit-a-thon at the crown which is my favourite watering hole in um, locally to where I live and it's in aid of refugees as we live by the sea just um, you know on the English Channel very sadly sometimes we do have 
boats of refugees pulling up onto the beach. I've never seen it myself, but it's it's been a bit of a thing recently. And because I'm on the side of humanity and kindness, I think that whoever the person is, wherever they're from, whatever the situation, if we can do something to ease pain and unkindness, then we should. So I'm off to do a bit of knitting and I'm gonna have a coffee there and just join in for a little while. And then I'm gonna come back and do Patreon stuff, but I've got my hair in braids. I realize because I have a backdrop of basically black, sometimes you can't see, but I've got braids on. I've got my favorite little pearly diamond earrings. I've got my cashmere jumper that I just bought. It is clean because the reason it was on sale, it's a size 20, but it got shrunk in the wash. So it's a nice tight one. I've got these lovely amber or quartz actually, glass and opal Edwardian brooch that my lovely friend Hula Hannah gave me, chipped nails. Um, and then I'm wearing a circle skirt, which is why I can do this strange maneuver. And I've got um, my sparkly gold shoes on, which I will um, show you. But I'm gonna show you the wool and um, I'm gonna take you with me to do some knitting so you can help me quite literally make the world a better place one stitch at a time. Here's some wool that I've selected, bits sort of left over. I've got quite a, well, not a massive stash of wool, but I've suddenly become mad about knitting. I think it was doing my vintage tassel beret that did it. So I've got that, I've got my knitting needles and I'm just gonna get myself together and then I'm gonna go and do some lovely, purposeful, mindful, kind knitting. I've just got back from the knit-a-thon. I was only gonna stay for about an hour, but it's now half three and I got there about half 11-ish. Um, here's the knitting that I've done. And I've brought it home to finish it and then I can donate my scarf to the refugees. Uh, I was given a lovely glass of mulled wine and a mince pie and enjoyed those immensely. And I had a really lovely time talking to this lovely old gentleman who is a regular there and I've seen him but I've never really spoken to him. His name's Eric and we spent the last two and a half hours talking about films, Hedy Lamar, Danny Kaye, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Frank Sinatra, and history, and all sorts of things. And I just had the loveliest time. And he said he's gonna go away and, and write his list of 10 films. This gentleman must be in his 90s, bright as a button, and just full of stories and knowledge and absolutely in love with films and told me that when he was little growing up in Worthing he used to go and see every single film he could and I just thought it was just wonderful and he recommended A Star Is Born with Judy Garland and James Mason which I've never seen so I'm gonna have to watch that. So I've been out much much longer than I thought I would be I've got to upload stuff, Tea with Tara on Patreon, must do that now, and all those bits and pieces, and then I'm just gonna carry on knitting. Um, and then plan, plan the things that I need to do over the rest of this week. So that's gonna be my evening. So I probably won't jump on here again. And I'm probably gonna finish the vlog here so that I can upload this for you tomorrow. And I will start again with a new one tomorrow, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Lots more festive stuff and lots of knitting. Take care, my lovely. See you next time.